What's up, millionaires? It's your boy, Millionaire E, coming at you with the TV show episode review. The TV show we're going to be talking about is Marvel's What If, episodes 8 and 9. Now, before we get started, spoiler alert for anyone who's not seen the episode yet, I don't want to spoil it for you. Now, let's get into it. Now, this is the What If Ultron completed his task. Now, Ultron is from the Age of Ultron movie. Now, he, he was created by Tony Stark, and he decided that the humans were the problem and he wanted to eradicate them so he made stages in his life to kind of upgrade himself now his last upgrade was vision but they got to vision and vision got his own mind but now in this episode he completed it so he's vision now and he eradicated killed everybody except black widow and hawkeye so he's also he's killed everybody except them and he's made all his drones and everything. Now, what happens is, is Black Widow and Hawkeye, they go looking for a weapon to kill this Ultron. But what happens is, is while they're looking for a weapon, it ends up where <laughs> Thanos comes in and he's like, bro, why'd you kill everybody? I was going to kill half the people. Ultron's like, you know what? Bam, kills them. And then takes the stones. <laughs> So he's super powerful. Now he's got a whole bunch of space stones. So then it ends up where he starts fighting Watcher because he finds out that the Watcher is watching him, which is supposed to be impossible. Only person, only other person who did it was Doctor Strange. Now, so he fights the, the Watcher and ends up where the Watcher goes to this place where he's watching Black Hawkeye and Black Widow. Now they're looking for some type of weapon and they find this thing that talks about Artem Zola. Now Artem Zola is a digital entity. So he can download his conscience into anything and just mess it up. So they go to this base, Hydra base. They get Artem Zola. The robot drones kind of storm in. Now Hawkeye, it ends up where Hawkeye sacrifices himself. So then they get out and it ends up where the Watcher he runs away again because the Vision, or Ultron Vision, catches him again because he's in the multiverse. He's like, wow, there's so many multiverse. I'm going to expand my horizons. So, he goes, the Watcher goes to where basically Doctor Strange is, and he's like, I guess I'm going to have to break my oath. Because his oath is you can watch these things happen, but you cannot and will not interfere. So then it ends up into the next episode where he's recruiting. And if you notice, he's recruiting all the people from the What If episodes. So he recruits Peggy Carter. He recruits Chichala, He recruits Thor. He also recruits... Oh man, oh man. He also has Doctor Strange in the group, but he also recruits Killmonger, which I'm kind of questionable about that. And then he recruits Gamora. Now... I was a bit confused about this because I was like, okay, when we get to the Gamora part, there was no Gamora What If episode. And also, when you see it, like when he comes in, he's like, I need Gamora, not you, Stark. And we see Stark for a minute, and he's in this like really, really cool Sakaar, Sakaar suit. And even if the Lego sets, like I, I play with Legos, there's like a kind of Hulkbuster What If set. And come to find out that that episode, since with the, you know, COVID and everything was delayed, but then they kind of, they couldn't do anything with it. So it just ended up where, hey, we got Gamora in here. Hey, yeah. And I'm like, who is she though? So then it happens where, you know, they get, they also have, I think Spider-Man comes in there, but they also end up where it's like, okay, yeah, we got this. We got this. So they have to fight Vision Ultra. Now, while they're fighting Vision Ultra, and long story short, it ends up where Peggy Carter gets Black Widow to shoot the arrow into Vision, Ultra and Vision. And this is where Artem Zola kind of takes over and starts making a mess of things. Now, when this happens, he destroys it, the bot is done. Now, Killmonger comes in and he grabs the soul stones, or the stones, and also kind of makes his own armor. And he's like, hey guys, what if we could have done this? Or that, and then he betrays, he basically betrays the team. 
So then it ends up where Arden Zola's like, wait a minute, that does not belong to you. So they're fighting for the stones and then Doctor Strange kind of encloses them into this snow globe. And the watch is like, you know you gotta protect this, right? And I'm like, he's like, yeah, yeah, I know I have to. So that part, then they send them off to their different conspired worlds. So, you know, you've got the, Becky Carter goes back to her world, Thor goes back to his world. They all go back to their multiverse worlds. Now, the only person who is left is Black Widow. And Black Widow is like, I'm not going back. Bring back my city. Or my city is dead. So then it ends up where, you know, the Watcher's like, hey, I did something real nice for you. Here's a universe where they lost their Black Widow. So he takes them in there, and she fights alongside them. Now, that's the end of the episode. Now, a few problems I have with this are is the zombie episode was never solved. All we saw was they were coming back and they were going to this type of place or Wakanda to get, you know, some formula to heal everybody. And then also I was like, as I said, with the Tony Stark episode or not even the Tony Stark, but you have, they picked Glamora and Tony was in like a totally different suit. Nothing was said about it. And I'm like, come on, what? And I understand it was COVID and all, but I was like, come on now. And then I was like, I understand all the picks that he had, but really Killmonger? Killmonger was not a suitable pick for him. I'm like, I knew, I was sitting there like, yeah, he's definitely going to betray them at the end of this. Because I'm like, we all we all saw his last episode. So I was like, it's, uh, it was a good, I love the concept because it's multi, we're talking about the multiverse. I love the multiverse, different types of universes. I love that. But there were some things that was kind of like, eh. But remember y'all, like and subscribe. And if you're subscribed, click that bell icon to be notified for more videos. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all. Have a blessed day.